my beauties and welcome back to another faves or flops February edition. So what I like to do on my channel every month is just go through kind of quick speed reviews of items I have been loving and some items that I just think you should save your money on. So I have a combination of skincare, makeup, hair, and one kind of fashion item that we're going to go through today. I have been loving some of these products the last month and then there's a couple that I think you should just skip on because they have not been working for me. So girl, just just don't. If you are new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. If you like the video, of course, give it a big thumbs up and cue the intro. I know I look absolutely All of my faves I talk about today are, of course, going to be linked down below in the description box. So check those out if you're looking to snag any of these items, the flops I leave out because I don't really think they're worth your money. So we are going to dive right into makeup here with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I did a full video putting this head to head against the IT Cosmetics CC Cream up here. Um, so definitely check that one out if you want to see how it did. But I have it on my face today. I have been wearing it constantly. Um, it is $14 over the drugstore. So a little bit pricey for e.l.f. But definitely worth it with how good this is. The IT Cosmetics is $49. So absolutely a dupe gives me a great coverage. I didn't need a lot of it. I'm going to keep reusing this one for sure. So if you haven't tried it yet, definitely worth it. All right. While we are talking about e.l.f., unpopular opinion alert. The e.l.f. Ride or Die lip balms are in my flops this month. Let me explain why before I lose you, before you click away. Let me explain why. I actually really like the formula. I like the color that this gave me. However, I do not like the component. So what I mean by that is this little guy right at the top, I just feel like could have been done better. And that is why it does a flop for me. This looks like a little paint tube that you'd like put on a, um, what are those things called? That the painters hold and you put all your colors and you mix them around. Somebody tell me what they're called. I'm sorry, I'm not an artist. I put color on my face, not on whatever this thing is called, but it looks like that. So if you think of a lip balm or you think of a squeezy tube, let me show you an example. Okay, so this is the Lancome Juicy Tubes. I love that they brought them back. I was obsessed with these back in high school, but this is what should go on my lips, not this. I find that this is really hard to apply and I have to use my fingers. So although I really like the color, I like the formula inside of this. I like how it wears. Maybe call me spoiled, but I don't like how this applies onto my lips with this component. I think that if they had spent 10 cents upgrading this component that I would have liked the product a lot more. And I honestly would have paid a lot more for the product. I think this was like $3 if they had given me a better tip. I probably would have paid $4 and they would have easily made their money back and maybe sold more. So Elf, I love ya, but that is why this was a flop for me. Okay, another product that I had the pleasure of testing out this month was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Iced Out Highlighter. Look how pretty this is. This is another one I did a full video on. If you wanna see it, check it out here but this is so pretty. Um, it looks really icy in the pan. It looks really white in the pan, um, but it goes on just this beautiful glow. Again, I'm wearing it right now. I've been wearing it almost nonstop. And this is a 3D texture. So as you can see that, um, the first time I kind of looked at it in the pan, I was like, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's so beautiful. It is a little bit pricey, but you do get a lot of product here. So it'll probably last you a really, really, really long time. Um, but I, you can see it down my nose, just how much it is glowing. It is stunning for sure. Okay. The other fave in the makeup department that I am loving is this estate lip icing in glazed. I have this on my lips right now and I have nothing under it. So it just gives me the nice little pinkest pink. And it smells, it smells like icing. It smells so good. I've been wearing this for the last couple hours before I just retouched it up. It hasn't budged. I haven't been eating it off. I've been downstairs talking and it's still there. So really good formula, not sticky at all. I reviewed the Anastasia Beverly Hills that I got with this, um, the diamond lip gloss, and it was too glittery. I didn't like how it felt on my lips. Um, this one is so, so, so smooth and just 
glosses right over my lips and I love it. So I got this in my Ipsy or the Birch Box in February, one of the two. I've been doing a battle of the boxes that I will link here, but I got it in one of those boxes and have been using it since, and it's a really, really good lip icing. All right, let's move into skincare, and we're going to start with a flop. So again, this is something I already reviewed on my channel, so I'm sorry if you watch my channel and have already seen this product. So I will link that up above as well if you want to see the full thing. But this is the Alpha H Liquid Gold with Glycolic Acid. Um, it is an AHA kind of toner that's supposed to even out your skin. It's supposed to help with surface texture, and I didn't notice any difference with this. This is a high-end product. If you're looking for a good skincare, there are better things out there, and this is just one that I think you should skip. There's better AHAs, there's better serums, there's there's things that are going to give you better results than what I saw with this. I used it for a full month um, before posting that video because I wanted to make sure I gave it a good shot and it's it's just not worth it for me. All right, so if you watch January's Favorite Flops video, it was all about minis because I made a goal in 2021 to start using through my minis. Um, and I had a couple left over that I didn't do in that video that I was still using that I wanted to talk about because I love them. The first is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I am a big fan of doing a double cleanse, which is taking your makeup off and then going back in with a cleanser. And this is the first step in my double cleanse. Um, this is just a mini I think I got with Clinique purchases at the Clinique counter. Um, but you can see I'm almost done with it. It really is like a balm consistency, but then you rub it into your skin without any water right at first. The warming that it's going to get from your fingers and from rubbing it onto your skin helps take the makeup off. Um, then once that's done, you go back in and wash it off and then follow it up with a cleanser afterwards. And it does such a good job. It is just dissolving kind of into my skin here. You can see how it's shiny in these two fingers that is from the balm so it's kind of turning into an oil which helps take your makeup off i've been reviewing a lot of cleansing oils and balms on my channel i think like every faves and flops video i have had i've been saying one of those i think i had a flop the last two months maybe of a cleansing oil or balm so it was nice to get to review one that i actually really like this is a staple in my skincare routine i come back to it quite a bit it's not my favorite favorite um, but it's definitely probably in the top five. Okay, the next skincare mini we're gonna talk about is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This is so good. Anything Elemis is phenomenal. I don't know if I've found an Elemis product that I don't like. Nothing comes to mind. They are a phenomenal skincare brand, and this whole line, the, the Collagen Marine line, is really, really good. I've been using this as a day cream, I wish I could describe the scent to you. It is scented, but it's not overwhelming to me. Um, it's just so nice and light and it's like a breath of fresh air or at walking on the beach. I'm not really sure what it is, but it smells really, really good. Um, keeps my skin hydrated throughout the day. It dries down really quickly so I can use it as a day cream and then put my makeup on right afterwards. I don't like when it's too heavy or sticky in the morning because I'm going straight into my makeup routine. It says it reduces the depth of wrinkles, improves skin firmness and hydration. I do love kind of the sheen that it gives to my skin. Um, so this is a fave for me for sure. Okay, lastly, if I had to list my favorite skincare brand, I would really have to think about it, but one of the first ones that come to mind and potentially the one I would answer with is Tula. I have reviewed their products on my channel before. I love Tula skincare and I tried out the Star Bright Nourishing and Brightening Cosmic Hydrogel Mask. I love sheet masking. I do a mask almost every night, if not every night. And this was the first one of these I had tried out. So it is hydrogel, which is a different texture than the normal cotton sheet masks. I'll pop up a picture of me using it, but it forms so well into my skin. It has two separate pieces, a top and a bottom. Um, and you can see the little stars. It's the cutest pattern. And I don't really see patterns in hydrogels that often. So that was a really, really fun touch. But I wore it for 30 minutes. It stayed hydrated. It left my skin feeling smooth. It wasn't tacky. My skin was hydrated the next day and it was just such a treat. It was really like a spa experience with this mask. So this says you only have to keep it on for five to 10 minutes if you wanted, you know, a quicker type of treatment, but I like to leave them on. It has probiotics, grapefruit, go to cola. I don't know what that is, but it says it's an herb that conditions the skin and helps improve the look of elasticity. 
and chamomile, which helps calm, smooth, and relieve redness. If you can see in that picture, I had a blemish right there that I was hoping it would help me out with, and it is going away, so maybe it did. All right, getting down to the last few things. Now that I'm doing monthly, I'm trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter for you guys. Um, and let's move into another flop, and this one's going to be hair care. This is the Acure Unicorn Shimmer Shampoo and Conditioner. I do like a cure hair care. I do like a cure skincare, but this is a flop for me. I'm going to keep using it because I don't want to waste it. And it's not awful. It's not like making my hair fall out. Um, but the unicorn shimmer part to me is a complete gimmick. I, I, I don't know, like no matter how much I shake this shampoo, when it comes out, I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to get it all over me here in my beauty room. But it, the shimmer, like, doesn't mix into the shampoo. It just comes out in a glob of shimmer and then, like, a glob of the shampoo. <laughs> the water is, I just pulled these out of my shower. So, you know how, like, the water gets in it. It's, like, dripping on me. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, the shimmer sometimes gets, like, globbed in the end. And I, like, can't get it out in the shower and it just doesn't smell unicorny. I don't know. Something about unicorns makes me think of, like, fruit maybe because fruit is like bright colored, but this just, it doesn't smell good in general. I don't like the smell. I don't like the texture. It doesn't do anything great for my hair. So unfortunately with these two, it is a flop. I will try some of their other lines in the future for hair care. Um, but, but not that one. It's, it's a gimmick. The unicornness got me. I really wanted to try it and I ended up with a flop. Okay, the last thing for today is kind of a fashion item, but it is actually pajamas. So I usually just sleep in like t-shirts and stuff, but I, I, I don't know. I'm a grown up. I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I got a new set of pajamas this February and it is from Target. It is the Stars Above brand and I will pop up kind of a picture of me wearing it, but it's so cute. I love the like tie dye pastel -y, dusty rose pink. Dusty rose has been like my favorite color this past year. It's super comfy, super soft, fits me really well. Um, so if you're looking for a pair of like cute but comfortable pajamas to wear at night or to wear around the house, I definitely recommend this. Of course, you can get them online. Um, I did store pickup and just grabbed them and it was so easy. But you can also shop in stores. They do have them available there. It's not an online exclusive. They have this in tons of different colors. Um, I just really, really loved this pink color. It was so like soft and feminine and romantic to me. But I absolutely suggest that set if you're looking for something, especially going into spring where the weather is going to warm up a little bit and have something around the house to wear that's still kind of cute. All right, those are all my items for February. I have a sweet spun sugar candle burning behind me from Target as well. And it smells like cotton candy. So it smells delicious. I don't really love eating cotton candy, but the smell is wonderful. So, all right, guys, that is it for my February faves and flops. Let me know. Do you disagree with anything or what things have you been loving this February? Let me know down in the comment box in case there's anything I need to try out for March. And before you leave, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell right next to the subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.